My name is um, Charlie Dark and I'm the curator of a project called Bring the Noise which is taking place at the Tate Britain Gallery in London, England over the two Sundays in March. The idea I've come up with is basically to choose 10 different artists from different creative fields, get them to choose a painting each and to respond to it in their own kind. We have War Nails, which is kind of like a nail salon which is situated in Dalston, which is run by Sharman and Reed. She's basically doing a series of nail designs. We have Cut and Chat, who basically consists of Femi, um, who's an actor, who's in adulthood and adulthood, um, and his crew, they run a chat show in a barber shop in North London called DNL Barbers. So we've installed a barber shop in the Tate Britain for today. As we have um, Ace from One Extra DJing. We have Jan Blake, who is a storyteller. She's reading some stories um, from Trinidad and Nigeria. And what I'm really excited about, we have Mala from DMZ Digital Mystics crew, kind of one of the dubstep founding fathers. He's made a dub in response to one of the paintings. There's only ever going to be one of these dubs ever cut, and then it will disappear into this mythical kind of thing. So yeah, it's kind of, that's the project. What um, I asked Mala to do was to choose a painting from the Chris Affili exhibition and to come up with a dub for it and we kind of concocted this idea of getting this dub um, made. There's only one in existence, it is here. And how long have you been making music for? Since um, 2002. 2002. That's when I started producing music, yeah. But at the age of 14, um, I started emceeing at um, a lot of jungle events with a lot of um, jungle DJs. You used to MC. Yeah. Well, I, st I got into hardcore and jungle when I was about, um, about 11, 12 in the early 90s and uh, me and Koki and Pokes, we also used to MC at school and that progressed into parties and then that progressed into playing at like under 18 clubs when I was a youngster. So I was very lucky at that age to play with people like Randall and Jumping Jack Frost and Nicky Black Market, Kenny Ken. So for, when I look back on what I'm doing now, I, I, I kind of feel like all of that was my kind of like university. What is it about sound that gets you excited? Good sound. Yeah. I think that's what gets everybody excited initially because I think when we used to grow up listening to music I think music was produced and listened to much better than it is today. From a young age I kind of I felt like I understood like frequencies like not just what you heard but physically mm -hmm. so I guess when it comes to me making music um, it was also about a physical experience when you listen to sound not just one that mm. comes through your ears you know. When we started doing this, there was only one night that was going on, which was forward, and that was playing this type of music. A guy called Hatcher used to play this type of music on dub. He was the first one to play our tracks. This is when I say uh, our tracks, I mean myself and Koki and a guy called Lofa. We decided to set up our own record label to put out our own music, and uh, that's the record label DMZ. Um, and we had an opportunity to do an event on a Saturday night, and. Um, we started DMZ on a Saturday and we just had our fifth birthday last weekend. So let's talk about um, this reason why you're here and the dub we're about to play okay. and um, the painting which is here and it's called Strangers in Paradise. Looking at Chris's work, I, I thought it was very interesting. I was most inspired by the, 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 by the Blue Room, yeah. to be honest with you. Um, I quite like the depth which and the, the kind of like concentration and the time that you have to maybe spend um, like looking at something and allowing your eyes to adjust. In a way, I kind of felt it was maybe a little bit similar to how I make music in the sense that, you know, I'm not necessarily one to have like big build-ups and drops. Um, a lot of my music is actually quite subtle. How do you go from walking around the gallery, looking at a painting and then coming up with the tune? The title inspired me firstly. I was really inspired by the title. So when I was listening to, when I was looking at the painting, because I made some photo, a lot of photocopies of, of this piece of work and put them up in my studio and kind of just looked at it and tried to be part of it. And uh, I noticed that there was some like a uh, guy on horseback in there, kind of like, a, like a, some sort of warrior. I think what I got from it was that almost intruding. He's like not at a gateway, but he's, he's kind of guarding something. Mm -hmm. And the strangers are from paradise and we're looking into it and it's kind of intruding. So it's the first time it's been heard in public? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe the last time. Maybe the last time as well. <laughs>